Praise God, praise God. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I want to welcome you to the Back to Basics Ministries online church. There's healing for your soul. Earth has no sorrow that God cannot control. Praise God. We've been listening to some wonderful songs. Praise God. Encouraging songs as we fellowship together. Praise God. Take time out from your busy schedule to give God some praise and some glory and some honor. This is Pastor Leroy Carter. I'm coming to you from Lithonia, Georgia. Beautiful Lithonia, Georgia. Praise God. It's been hot this summer. We thank God for the heat. Praise God that we're here to feel it. And I want to welcome you wherever you are. We give a shout out to you. Marisol and Wes in Pennsville, New Jersey. Stacy and Sean and uh, Morgan in um, Columbia, Maryland, Ryan and Tyra and Jenna in Marysville, Pennsylvania, Florence Gaffney in Coatesville, Pennsylvania, and people all over the nation, and those of you who are listening by recording, our friends in Kenya, Pastor Boycott, Pastor Elijah, Pastor Jacko, our students, Anna Cheptenu, and Lucas Akilo, and all others throughout uh, Africa and our friends Bishop Davis in Jamaica and our friends all over this nation this is the back to basics ministries online church where we bring you the Word of God and Jesus Christ is making a difference in our lives you may say well Pastor Carter why you smile so much in front of the camera well I smile because I'm happy I'm happy in Jesus, happy in Jesus. Jesus Christ is the source of my supply. It's because of the Lord that I can rejoice in the Lord. Even in day, in times of trouble, in times of sadness, sickness, and sorrow, the Lord is still on the throne. In the midst of a coronavirus epidemic, the Lord sits on his throne. He has not abdicated his throne, ladies and gentlemen, in the midst of fake news and lies and deception and dishonesty uh, in the government. The Lord is still on the Lawrence throne. Gaffney. You can count on Jesus. You can count on Jesus. You can put everything. You can bet the house on Jesus. You can put everything you have on Jesus because Jesus Christ is Lord. He's the winner. If you're on the Lord's side, you're on the winner's side. Don't worry what people will say. Don't worry what this world can do. Amen. We walk by faith and not by sight. Praise God. And so we greet you and bless God and thank God in the mighty name of Jesus. I've got a powerful, I have a powerful sermon for you this morning. It's going to bless you. It's going to bless you. It's going to knock your socks right off. Praise God. Mm -hmm. When God reveals to you what he wants to do in your life, praise God. When he shows you what he's doing in America, we're going to ask uh, this precious woman, um, this gift that God has given unto me, Jackie Carter, to come and lead us in prayer. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Father God, we pray that you will send your Holy Spirit to speak to us, that you will send your anointing through your shepherd. We pray, Father, that you will bless each one who has joined us, joined us this morning live and those who will listen to the recording later, that you will bless them individually, that you will bless their families, and that we, you, you would bless us as your children collectively. We pray, Father God, that whatever message you have for us, that we would open our ears that we may hear and our hearts that we may receive. And then we pray, Father God, that we will not only hear and receive, but we will become active doers of your word. We thank you now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you, Jackie. I love you. Thank God for you. Uh, your wonderful helpmate, wonderful wife, and, and wonderful assistant in this ministry. And we give God the praise for you. Hallelujah. And uh, 
which leads me when I think about Jackie, and I've been thinking about her for a long time. Uh, but I thought about you a whole lot. Ye- yes, you. Uh huh. Thought about you a whole lot yesterday as I was preparing this message. And so we're going to begin today, ladies and gentlemen, with a two-part series. Who can find a virtuous woman? Who can find a virtuous woman? Yes, I was thinking about Jackie and putting this sermon together and thanking God for this virtuous woman, this wonderful wife, such a wonderful wife. Who can find a virtuous woman? And I uh, invite all of you to join me uh, in this uh, today. Two announcements, actually three announcements before I go into the sermon. And as uh, I make these announcements, flip to Proverbs 31. Open your Bible to Proverbs 31. And after the announcements, we uh, go into uh, the sermon. Next Sunday, announcement number one. Next Sunday, we will begin, and every first Sunday thereafter, we will have uh, host Holy Communion, the Lord's Supper. So we will celebrate the Lord's Supper and communion in our worship service next Sunday. So we ask you to have on hand a piece of cracker or a piece of bread and a little cup of grape juice, cracker or bread and grape juice. We do not use real wine, uh, and, um, um, and, and there's a purpose. I don't serve real wine. I don't take communion using real wine. When God delivered me from alcohol in 1970, 50 years ago, I promise, I swore, I swanied that I would not drink another drink of alcohol deliberately. And so I don't even serve alcohol in, in, uh, in, in communion. So grape juice, grape juice, Welch's grape juice, uh, and, and, and a piece of cracker or a piece of bread. And have that on hand for next Sunday for communion service. Announcement number two. Back to basic school of ministry, we resume our studies, our virtual studies, our online studies, September 9. So if you'd like to get a good degree, uh, join the Back to Basic School of Ministry. Courses are low cost, $200 for a three-credit course, 15 credits, and you have your associate's degree, 15 more credits, you have your bachelor's degree. Uh, 15 more credits, you can have your master's degree. 15 more credits, your doctorate degree. And if you want to double up in courses, take the virtual course with us and also sign up for some independent study courses. So contact me for that, for the online um, Back to Basics School of Ministry. People are getting their degrees. People are not, it's just, it ain't about degrees. People are getting strong in the Word of God. We've got a couple of people who've earned their degrees over the summer. And the third message, hey, Ryan, you out there? Ryan, come on and give me a shout out. Hey, good morning, Pastor Carter. I can hear you pretty good. Hey, praise God, Ryan. Hey, praise God. Okay, Ryan, we'd like to ask you to bring the word to us on Sunday morning, September 20. Will you do that, please? I sure could. Okay, I good. Sure good, 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 good. We ask, we're asking Ryan, prepare us a message for September 20th. Ryan is one of our students in Back to Basic School of Ministry. He's also one of our associate ministers, recently ordained, and uh, he and his wife, uh, Tara and daughter Jenna live up in Marysville, Pennsylvania. He's a great man of God, and we'd like to hear the word of God that God puts on his heart. Okay, Ryan, we'll be talking to, to you a little bit later, okay? All right, praise God. Praise God, praise God. Well, my friends, uh, all over this nation and all over this world, I want to give you a word that's going to bless you today that God has given unto me and um, the Lord laid on my heart. And it's different because, you know, uh, uh, it's di- a different different uh, way for me to come to you. Uh, we're talking about virtuous women. Now, what do I know about a virtuous woman? The only thing I know about virtuous women is that I am connected with you guys. And, and you all, are, except for Ryan and Wes and a whole lot of the dudes, y'all are virtuous women. Yes, Peggy Daniel, a virtuous woman, just joined in Florence Gaffney and so many of the others. You're virtuous women. I've known you uh, much of my life, and you're consistent in your love for Jesus. Don't let 
anybody tell you you're not a virtuous woman. Praise God. Praise God. And so we want to do a two-part series on who can find a virtuous woman. Man, when you find a virtuous woman, and Wes is a witness, and, and Ryan is a witness, when you find a virtuous woman, uh, 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 Pastor uh, 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 Davis is a, is a witness. He and his wife have been married for about 47, 50 years in Jamaica. When you find a helpmate, a woman, I, and, and I, I thank God for Jackie Carter, and I also, hey, I also thank God for uh, my first wife, Rachel, for Wes and Ray and Stacy's mom. Man, mm, I've been doubly blessed. And as my mother-in-law says, you have been doubly blessed. Uh, my, my deceased wife, before she died, she was, oh, what a virtuous woman. And now God has rewarded me. God has rewarded me with another virtuous woman, Jackie Carter. Uh, we've been married for nine years, and I thank God. I praise God. And so, and, and you all are plugged into virtuous women. Virtuous women have a great part in the kingdom of God. It might be, ladies and gentlemen, that the future of America is in the hands of a mighty God who wants to use virtuous women. And as you listen to these sermons in the next couple of weeks, you'll see what I'm talking about. Turn with me, will you please, to Proverbs chapter 31. Now, Proverbs 31 is used quite often as the sermon text for Women's Day services. And, you know, when women have their Women's Day services, and uh, the preacher usually talk, preaches from Proverbs uh, 31, verses 10 through 31. But we're going to get there next week, Proverbs chapter 31, verses 10 to 31. But I do not want us to overlook, and the Holy Spirit does not want us to overlook, those first nine verses of Proverbs 31. Listen to the word of God. Listen to the word. Well, let's ask Florence Gaffney if she has her Bible open to read the first nine verses of Proverbs 31. Florence Gaffney, would you do that, please? Good morning, Reverend Carter. I felt you would call on me today. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. All right. Chapter 31, Proverbs. The word of King Lemuel, the prophecy that his mother taught him. What my son and what the son of my womb and what the son of my vows. Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. It is not for kings, O Lemuel, it is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes strong drink. Lest thy drink and forget the law and pervert the judgment of any of the afflicted. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish and wine unto those that be of heavy heart. Let him drink and forget his poverty and remember his misery no more. Open thy mouth for the dumb and the cause of all such as are appointed to destruction. Open thy mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. Thank Amen. you. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Florence. I thank you and appreciate you so much for reading the mm -hmm. Word of God. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, we want to present uh, part one of our Who Can Find a Virtuous Woman series. And part one is entitled Lemuel's Mother, Lemuel's Mother. The Bible teaches us in Proverbs 31, verse 1, that this prophecy comes from the words of King Lemuel, who got these words, who received these words from his mama. Lemuel's mother gave him these words, and Lemuel lived these words. Now, if you do research on uh, uh, biblical research, you'll say, well, who was Lemuel? If you Google Lemuel, you'll, you'll get a variety of answers. Nobody really knows who Lemuel was. He was a king, but we believe that Lemuel 
was a pseudonym or a nickname for somebody like Hezekiah or mm. Solomon. Hezekiah or Solomon. Most Bible experts uh, are in agreement that Lemuel is another name for King Solomon, and so that his mother would be Bathsheba. And Bathsheba, after her tryst with uh, uh, <coughs> King David, Bathsheba became a holy woman. Oh, she repented. David repented, and God forgave them. And God raised up Bathsheba and and uh, to be a great woman. And and she was the mother of King Solomon, who became the second, uh, the third king of Israel. And so we truly don't know who Lemuel Lemuel was. We can take some guess, but the words of his mother. Ladies and gentlemen, the words of his mother. I'm going to reread part of what Florence Gaffney just read, but the words of Lemuel's mother echo and will resound and will echo again and again. And I want to say to the ladies out there in the audience, no slight upon you men, but the ladies in the audience, Marisol and, 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 and Stacy, and, and uh, I've got family members on, and, and, and Mibby, who's going to listen to this tape down in Dural, Florida, and uh, my granddaughter, and, and uh, others, as you hear these words, purpose in your heart, you're going to continue to be a virtuous woman, that you will not cave in, you will not give up, you will not succumb to the pressures of this world, but that you'll be true to Jesus Christ. I received a text from my granddaughter, Namibia, from Doral, Florida. She's visiting in Doral, Florida this morning, and she has with her my great, my great, great grandson, her only son, uh, Niaz. Niaz is turning six years old today, so happy birthday to my great-great-grandson Niaz. And in her text, Mibby said, I am teaching him about God and the ways of God so that as, as he grows up, he will know who God is and what God expects of him. That's coming from a virtuous woman's mouth, ladies and gentlemen. She's teaching her son, her six-year-old son, about God. So I want to tell the ladies out there in the audience, your labor is not in vain. Many of you do not get the recognition that you're due. And, and many of you do not get the acc accolades. But Peggy Daniel, I want you to know. Florence Gaffney, I want you to know. Tara Trugler, I want you to know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Listen to what King Lemuel's mother said to him. And we're going to refer to these words over and again. She says, what? Now, Florence, I'm going to read it my way now. What? My son? And what? The son of my womb? And what? The son of my vows? She said, ho, 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 hold on here, son. Whoa, son. Listen, son. You're the son of my womb. I birthed you. I carried you for nine months. I birthed you. What? You're the son of my vows. I have made holy vows unto the Lord. And then she begins to reprimand her son and give him uh, a correction. This lady, the mother of King Lemuel, he's a king, and she begins to give him words of correction. This holy, bold woman, um, I can barely sit in my seat when I think about how, how, how powerful the anointing was on this woman as she corrects her grown son. She corrects him and gets him back on course. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to say to you today is going to bless not only America, but nations. It's going to bless households. It's going to bless generations. When virtuous women, women of God, rise up and overcome the difficulties of this age, when they overcome the lying and the deception and the delusions and the fake news, when they overcome Come the, the, the power of politics and persuasion that has come against them when virtuous women rise up and take their place in the kingdom of God. Come on, somebody. When virtuous women rise up and take what God has given to them and proclaim it to their wayward, backslidden, hard-headed, stubborn, oftentimes stupid 
proud, puffed up sons, when virtuous women correct the men in their lives, and especially in America, you're going to see a new thing. You're going to see a new age. You're going to see a, a great thing happening. You're going to see the power of God flow mightily like a mighty river where, where righteousness will flow like a mighty stream where justice will, will overcome and overtake the earth. But it's going to take virtuous women. <clears throat> Virtuous women. Many men have sold out. Many men of God have sold out to the devil. Many have sold out to politics. Many have sold out to the Republican Party or the Democratic Party. Many have sold out uh, uh, to this thug, this tyrant that we have in the White House. But it's going to take virtuous women, women of honor, bold women, women of character, Peggy Daniel, women who will take a stand and say, my son, my grandson, my husband, my brothers, this is what the Lord requires of you. It's going to take a boldness, ladies and gentlemen, for women to correct the backslidden, wayward men of this society. It's going to take women to correct uh, 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 the, the, this male-oriented, proud, puffed-up, ungodly society. It's going to take women to get men back to where God wants us to be. It's going to take the word of God through the mouths of virtuous women. Oh, yes, you preachers keep on preaching. You men keep on preaching. Ryan, you keep on preaching. Wes, you keep on preaching. You husbands keep on teaching your wives and children. You godly men keep on being godly. But I'm appealing to the Women, the virtuous women, this scripture in Proverbs 31 is calling women. It's a call. It's an altar call. It's a, 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 a sound of the alarm. It's a do -do 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 -do. It's blowing the trumpet in Zion. It's calling women to stand up and take your rightful place in the kingdom of God. And it, it's, it's also letting us know that, that, that this world is crumbling, that this nation is going down the drain, that virtue and, and righteousness and justice are disappearing. But women, women, women of God, women like the mother of Lemuel can get people back up on their feet. It's going to take virtuous women who are going to be like uh, the prophet Eli, uh, Ezekiel who when he uh, oh, was, was taken in the spirit over dr a valley of dry bones, God said to Ezekiel, can these dry bones live? Well, ladies and gentlemen, when God gets through with America, when God gets through with America, somebody's going to have to preach the word to those dry bones, those stubborn bones, those uh, proud bones, those bones that listen to lies, those bones bones that uh, 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 follow, follow ungodly leadership, and somebody's going to have to preach them back into the kingdom of God and get uh, muscles on them and, and meat on their bones and skin on their flesh and get the Spirit of God back into people so that people can stand up and be the mighty army that God has called us to be. You may say, wow, Pastor Carter, that's some charge. That's some vision. Yes, it is. Ladies and gentlemen, we're taking a look at Lemuel's mother. She said she looked at her son and said, what? Oh, no, son, you came out of my womb. Oh, what? Oh, no, you're a king. Oh, no, you've got royal blood in you. Oh, no, you can't be like other men. Oh, no, you can't be drunk with wine. Oh, no, you can't be high on cannabis. Oh, no, you can't be high on cocaine. Oh, no, you can't snort that. Oh, no, you can't be uh, caught up in sex. Oh, no, you can't be caught up in adultery. Oh, no, you can't have idols. Oh, no, 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 my son, you can have no other gods before you. Oh, no, 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 my son, you are a king. You are royalty. God raised you up to royalty, and you've got to stand up and be what God has called you to do. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I believe, I believe that virtuous women all over this nation, all over this world, are going to come under, under the anointing of God, the Holy Spirit, and help to get this nation back 
to where we ought to be. Oh, it's going to take some time. It's going to take some things happening. It's going to take a, 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 a mighty move of God, and it's going to take the faith and trust of the people of God to watch God do what God intends to do. Well, what are some of these things that destroy kings, as Lemuel's mother told Lemuel? What are some of these things that blind kings? Wine, strong drink, other intoxicants, sex, adultery, fornication, lesbianism uh, 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 among women, and, 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 and homosexuality among men. Lies, deception, fake news, pride, leaders who are puffed up in pride, who put themselves above everyone else. Racism, racism blinds kings and presidents and leadership. Uh, this thing called white privilege, this lie that, that has been taught uh, to white people from the time they were in their mother's wombs, that they're superior to everyone else. This has destroyed this nation. Uh, 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 violence, destruction, burn, baby, burn, kill whitey, kill the pig, uh, things that have come out of black people's li mouths, th things that have helped destroy uh, the black community, the lies, the deception, the hatred of one another. These are the things that have destroyed kings. But I want to tell you, every one of us, we are made after God's image. And, 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 and we are a royal priesthood. If you've been born again, you are a royal priesthood. You have favor with God. We are the king's kids. And so as Lemuel's mother uh, said to him, I say to you, you are a child of the king. And as a child of the king, there are certain things that are expected of you. You're not expected to be caught in the whorehouse or in the cat house or in the drug den. You're not expected to hate white people. You're not expected to hate black people. You're not expected to build walls around the Hispanics to keep them out. You're not expected to denounce people because of the color of their skin, because you're a a child of the king. Now, ladies and gentlemen, everybody claiming to be a child of the king, a follower of Jesus, is not a child of the king. Some have joined the church. Some become a member of the church because of being born into a certain family. Some buy their way in. Some buy their offices. Some are elected into offices. But, ladies and gentlemen, the real church, when Jesus said to his disciples, or except at Caesarea Philippi, on this rock I'll build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Jesus told everybody, you must be born again. You must be born again. Wake up, church, and if you have not been born again, you need to get born again. Because if you ain't born again, no matter what position you hold, you can be the bishop, you can be the pope, you can be the cardinal. You can have a mega church. But if you have not been born again, you're going to die and you're going to go to hell. And hell is going to be your eternal home. And you're going to be deceived for eternity. And, and you're going to wish you had heard the word of God and wish you had obeyed the word of God. You're going to wish you had not listened to a lying president. You're going to wish that you hadn't listened to a lying uh, uh, political party. You're going to wish that you had paid heed to the word of God. Because when the deal goes down, if you're not born again, God is going to say, depart from me. I never knew you. So verily, verily, I say unto you, Jesus said to Nicodemus, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And so we see Lemuel's mother instructing Lemuel, you're a king. You have royal blood in you. And just as Lemuel's mother instructed his, uh, her son, I'm instructing you, my friends, in the word of God, you've got royal blood in you. You've been mm -hmm. washed in the blood of the lamb. Because you've been washed in the blood of the lamb, you are a part of the real church. And because you are a part of the real church, you don't have time for fornication. You don't have time for lying. You don't have time for deception. You don't have time for duplicity. You don't have time uh, uh, for homosexuality. You don't have time for lesbianism. You don't have time for cheating. You don't have time for idolatry, having idols in your life. You don't have time to be greedy for money. You don't have time to hate your neighbor. 
neighbor. You don't have time to put people down because of the color of their skin. I know I'm preaching. I know I'm preaching, Florence Gaffney. I feel the Amen. anointing. You don't have time to do these things because Amen. the Lord has called us to serve him. The Bible says you must be born again. The Bible says, therefore, if any person is in Christ Jesus, he's a new he's creation. A You're not that old lying you. You're not that yeah. old homosexual you. You're not that old yeah. lesbian you. You're not that old drunkard you. You're not that old drugged up you. You're a new creation. So act yeah. like it. That's what mm -hmm. Lemuel's mother is saying to Lemuel in Proverbs mm -hmm. 31, 1 and 2. You're not that old Lemuel. You're a child of the king. You've got royal mm -hmm. blood in you. So get up out of that mess and act like mm -hmm. it. Some of you need to take your sons and daughters, grab them by the collar, smack them. Bip, bip. You need to smack them. Wake up. <laughs> Get up no. out of that mess. Get up out. No, you ought to no, do no. what uh, James Brown said. Get up off of that thing. You ought to smack no. a bip, bip. Get up off of that no. thing. Get up off of those drugs. Great. Get up Great. off of that lie. Get up off Great. of that laziness. Get up out of bed. Get up and go Great. get a job. Come on. Woo. Woo. Man. Get fired up. Get fired up. <laughs> Stacy, mm -hmm. I remember Stacy used to, uh, when she was a cheerleader, Chester High, they had a cheer. Get fired up. Get fired up. It's your time to burn. Well, I say to you, church, get fired up in the Holy Ghost. Get fired up like Lemuel's mother. Lemuel's mother told him, my son, what? The son mm -hmm. of my womb? Mm -hmm. Living like a drunkard? Lying? You, yeah. Now you're the president of the United States and you're lying to people? You're deceiving? You don't want a bit more care about people than you cared about people when I raised you as a child. No, you're the president of the United States and you hate blacks. You're the president of the United States and you're promoting yeah. violence. You're the president of the United States and you're pardoning people who kill blacks. You're the president of the United States and you have no word of, 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 of authority against uh, abusive policemen. You're the president of the United States and you're festering and you're fostering racism and bitterness and yeah. anger. Yeah. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, godly women, virtuous women, stand mm -hmm. up. And be counted. Stand yeah. up and be counted. You don't have to take this crap. You don't have to take this crap they're giving to you. You don't have to let yeah. your sons and your daughters go to hell. Yeah. You don't have to let your son keep on selling drugs. Even though he is paying your mortgage, your rent. You can tell him, no, I'd rather live in a shanty than to have you selling drugs. You need yeah. to tell your sons and your daughters, get up. You, you're not supposed to be living with a man. You're not supposed yeah. to be shacking up with a woman. Uh, she, you're not married. You have no business in the same bed with her. You need to purchase yeah. women. You need to rise up and tell them, get up off of that thing like James Brown. Yeah. Get up off of that thing. Mm-hmm. Huh. And that. Well, let's fast forward for to 25 years and bring this thing to conclusion. I'm going to fast forward, ladies and gentlemen, 25 years from now. And see what mm -hmm. Lemuel's mother has to say. Let's fast forward. Work with me now. Fast forward. I'll be 25 years from now, I'll be 103. Mm -hmm. I hope I live to see this day. I'll be 103. Jackie be 101. Jackie be 101. I'll be 93. Jackie be 101. My children will be in their 70s. Wes mm -hmm. will be 76. Ray will be 78. Stacy, you'll be 72. Ah, oh, Dad, yeah. you just told my age. Stacy be 72. <laughs> Maya, my granddaughter, who just went off to college two days ago. Stacy's daughter will be 43. Mm. Niaz, my great-great-grandson, who's celebrating his sixth birthday today, he'll be 31 in 25 yeah. more years. Let's fast forward. Donald Trump's America will be a byword. What? What you talking about, Pascal? The name Donald Trump will be a byword. People have to search the dictionaries or the encyclopedias or the Google or the Internet to find out who Donald Trump was. They tell me he was the president of the United States. 
Yes, but God removed him from the face of the earth because he was bitter. He was a racist. He was a thug. He was a liar. He was a deceiver. His mother even said so. He did nothing to bring the nation together in harmony with the word of God. He spread divisiveness. He spread confusion. He led a political party to think that they were bigger than God. America will be a byword, ladies and gentlemen. America as we know it 25 years from now, you'll look, your children will say, well, well, uh, 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 great, great granddad, if Niaz is able to talk to me 25 years from now, well, what happened to America? And I'll tell my son, my great, great grandson, who'll be 31 years old, oh, they forgot God. Uh -huh. They listened to their lying political leaders. They listened to their lying pastors and preachers. They listened to a lying church that put the American flag far above the Bible. And this is why you're in the situation that you're in. Uh -huh. And our great, great grandchildren will say, well, why do we have to suffer this? And the uh -huh. answer will be because you're great great grandparents and your great grandparents and your grandparents denied God and they listened to the lying politicians and they listened to the lying preachers and did not pay heed to the word of God. But thanks be to God. Hallelujah. There be some people alive who will say, but praise God, my mama, my grandmama, my great grandmama were like the wife the mother of Lemuel, she taught us the word of God. She was like Namibia in Dural, Florida. I'm going to teach my son about God and how to grow up with God and how to live for God. Praise God that there will be children who will survive because they had virtuous mamas, virtuous mm. grandmamas, virtuous great-grandmamas who told the people, don't listen to the lies of your leaders. Don't listen to the lies of some of those church leaders, but hearken to the word of God. There will be women, virtuous women, even 25 years from now, who will say, what? My son, who came out of my womb? What? Mm. My son, the son of my vows? Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Get up out of that bed. You're not married to her. Uh. Get up. Get up out of that job. That's not for you. Stop selling drugs. Stop cheating. Stop killing cops. Stop hating white folks. Stop hating black folks. No, get up. You're a king's kid. You've got royal blood in you. Act mm. like it. Act like it. Well, mama, mm. how can I act like it? Study to show yourself approved unto God. Repent of your sins. Get back to where God wants you to do. Fast forward, ladies and gentlemen. Fast forward 25 years. White supremacy will be non-existent in this nation. This nation 25 years from now will be a people of color. People of color. White folks, if you think you're in charge now, you're going to be extinct 25 years from now. You're going to be outnumbered. You're going to be outvoted. You better learn how to get along with people of color because your neighbors, and this is for you suburban women, you know, the ones whom Donald Trump is trying to turn against this nation, trying to get your vote, you suburban women, the suburbs will be all different colors. The suburbs will be made up of a rainbow coalition. A rain your neighbor's gonna be black, white, brown, yellow, green, purple, pink. You you yeah. your neighbors are they they ain't all gonna be white. You be need to yeah. wake up. You need to wake up. And so twenty five years from now when we fast forward, black lives will still matter. White lives will matter, but all lives will matter. Rainbow lives will matter. 25 years from now, when my great-great-grandson is 31 years old, hallelujah, praise God, here, look around this nation and say, wow, we're all God's children. We're made in his image. I'm going to pay heed to my mama's words. I'm going to pay heed to the words of Lemuel's mother. I'm going to get up off of this thing. 
I ain't going to let drugs pull me down. I'm not going to let sex pull me down. I'm not going to let homosexuality pull me down. I'm not going to let lesbianism pull me down. I'm not going to let lying news and, and fake news pull me down. I'm going to know the truth. And the truth is not only going to set me free, but keep me free. It's going to keep me free. I'm going to tell everybody I know that Jesus Christ is Lord, that he died on the cross for everybody. I'm going to tell everybody that there's somebody, that there's nobody better than anybody else because of the color of their skin or because of their economic situation. I'm going to tell everybody that Jesus Christ died for them. He was buried in the grave. He rose up from the dead. He's coming back soon. I'm going to tell everybody. Uh, Get ready. Get yeah. ready. Because he's Thank coming you. back. I'm going to tell everybody what John said. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. The old heaven and the old earth had passed away. Donald Trump's earth is going to pass away. This racist yeah, earth is going to pass yeah. away. This ungodly, lying, uh, lie-believing uh, uh, society is going to pass away. John said, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth. And I saw the heavenly Jerusalem coming down out of the clouds, dressed as a bridegroom, as a bride for her bridegroom. Hallelujah. And we're going to hear people say, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. The Republicans are not Lord. The Democrats are not Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, pay heed to the words of a godly mother. Lemuel's mother received her words from the Lord. She taught him about godliness. And the godliness that she taught him, we will look next week, Proverbs 31, verses 10 through 31, the way a person is supposed to live, mm -hmm. having been raised by a godly mother. So we're going to make some corrections in our lives. We're going to surrender our lives to Jesus. We're going to repent for our sins. We're going to live the way the Lord wants us to live. And we're going to encourage others to do the same. This is Pastor Leroy Carter encouraging you to get right with God. Do it now. Get right with God. He will show you how. I yeah. promised you three weeks ago that we would end our services before 12 o'clock noon. We've got three minutes before the noon hour. You're getting out of church early today. God bless you. I love you. If you need to be born again, you want to be born again, contact us. At, or ask, well, first of all, ask God today, save you. Ask Jesus to come into your life. And then if you need prayer and encouragement, contact us. We'd be glad to encourage you. Well, hope to see you next week. Don't forget, bring your grape juice and your cracker or your bread to communion. We're going to celebrate the Lord's Supper. People are going to get healed as we celebrate the Lord's Supper. Father God, we thank you. We bless you. We praise you. Hallelujah. Thank you for this anointing. Thank you for your word. Oh, God, forgive us of our sins. Forgive our president. Forgive our leaders. Forgive the Republicans, Democrats. Humble them all. Humble us all. Humble this nation. Help us to hear the word of the, of, of the Lord. Save us, God. Fill us with your Holy Spirit. Help us to love one another. And we thank you. And, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for sending virtuous women in our lives. Continue to bless us. We praise you and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let the church say amen. 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 Let the church say amen. We're going to stop.